everyone and welcome back to Jim's Garage Toys. Today I'm going to be doing a quick update to my 2017 Corolla IM and I'm going to be installing some LED reverse bulbs into the uh, and replacing the incandescent LED reverse bulbs. I've done this before on a couple of the cars and it's just a huge difference for how much light you can get and sure helps uh, while backing up, whether you got a backup camera or not. So uh, I'm getting ready to take this car on a trip, about a 5,000 mile road trip. So I wanted to make sure I did this. I've actually had the bulbs for a little while and I came across them in a box. So this should be a real quick, simple mod, about five minutes. And uh, I highly encourage it for anybody, for any car. So if you have any questions at the end, feel free to holler at me. And I appreciate it if you like and subscribe and Help us little guys out. So uh, without uh, any further delay, let's get going on it. And you can see the regular incandescent bulb located inside the hatch. So the first thing we gotta do is there's a little cover here. There is a little, let's see if I can get a good shot of this. So right outside, I can't see what I'm shooting at. There we go. So you can see the little cutout right there for it. So you enter in a, a screwdriver work too, but this is a trim tool. So it doesn't break it or scar it. You pop that loose. And then just pop it loose. Okay, and there's our bulb or access to it. So I'll let you pop that off, give this a little twist. There's the bulb. So I needed to see what size it was and make sure, make sure I have the right one for it. So you put some gloves on so I don't, if I have to order some, I don't mess that one up. This is what I ordered actually quite some time ago for this project and so I'm hoping I'll put that down a second there's, there's what they look like and so I'm hoping that this is the right right ones so we shall see so let's go ahead and, oh yeah, that's the right one. That's the right one. So just to give you a close up of this. So there's nine LEDs on each side and then on each thin side there's three and then there's six on the back side. So this thing should put out plenty of light when you hit reverse. So. Now LEDs are normally, you want to check and make sure they work. And if not, you want to take them out and rotate them 180 degrees. So you go put it in, put the key in and put it in reverse and see if this is golden. And as you can see, we have success. So let's put it back in its socket and then we'll take a look at what it looks like compared to OEM. So even with the daylight, and the sun is strong today, you can see how much whiter the light that is and how dim and yellow that is. So we will do the same thing for this one. Turn and twist. Oh, that's going to be hot. <laughs> this has been on. Let me go get a, a rag. So I just slip that one out and the LED in. So we're good to go there. I forgot. That just came out. There was actually a dead bee somehow got into that light housing. I just noticed it before I started this. for it to, there we go, 
Yeah. All twisted in. And just take your panel. There's two little lips there, and then this one. This one presses in. So I just. There we go. That simple. Perfect. Job done. Now, we got LEDs on both sides. I just found this makes such a huge difference at night backing up. So thanks for watching everybody. Appreciate your support. Love it if you hit subscribe and like and try to help me grow my channel a little bit, one step at a time. And until next time, have a great day.